cellulose is a type of blown-in or loose-fill insulation. Today, it's made from up to 85% recycled material, like recycled newspaper. There's a stereotype attached to insulation that it's considered itchy and irritating when coming into contact with skin. However, because the material used is soft to the touch, cellulose is not the type of insulation that does this. You should still be cautious and use protective gear like a dust mask, safety goggles, and gloves around insulation. Coming into contact with this type won't irritate your skin if you happen to forget. Are those okay to wear? Absolutely. They're not going to be as abrasion resistant, but they will protect you from the fibers themselves. Now, since paper is used in the recycled material in cellulose, does that make it more liable to catch fire? No, actually, the cellulose insulation is treated with boric acid, so it doesn't catch fire. It is actually a flame retardant. Would you like to see? Yeah, that'd be great. Acid contributes to the benefits of cellulose within a building, enhancing the resistance against not only fire, but mold and pests as well. This chemical isn't known to be hazardous to people, and is actually used in some medications and personal care items, like soap and detergents, due to its natural antifungal and antibacterial properties. Insulation slows the rate at which heat transfers through a building enclosure. Having a properly insulated building helps prevent heat from escaping or entering, which can overwork your air conditioner in the summer and your heater in the winter. Preventing this aids in regulating temperature and thus your energy bill. The rate at which insulation slows heat transfer is called resistance value or R value. R value is a numerical value for the resistance of heat. The higher that number, the better the resistance. Cellulose in particular has around R 3.4 per inch of depth, which is one of the highest R values among blown-in insulation. Blown-in cellulose has the special effect of combating thermal bridging. Thermal bridging is when other objects in your attic, like ceiling joists, are more conductive than the material around it. Heat is more likely to travel through them than to be trapped by the insulation. Blown-in cellulose covers these objects, preventing heat transfer. Insulation is also a great way to help keep noise from penetrating your walls, roof, and floor. When cellulose is densely packed, sound waves, like heat, have a more difficult time getting through the insulation. Recently, we had a customer that needed her attic re-insulated. The reason we add more insulation in general is to one, increase efficiency and comfort, and two, meet codes and Energy Star recommendations. We saw that she had an R value of about R10 when the minimum Energy Star recommended was R38. To increase her R value, we added in an additional nine inches, which increased her R value by about 28. This reduced her energy bill by about 25% and is expected to recoup her cost in under three years. While our customer needed her attic re-insulated, cellulose can go in various places around a building. It can be used in residential and commercial applications, and the most common projects are for ceilings and walls. The advantages of having blown-in cellulose are available to homeowners and businesses alike. It's one of the most cost-effective and affordable R-values per inch. It's a common retrofit in existing homes, as well as in new construction. And it's the most environmentally friendly because of its recycled materials. Your local Koala Insulation contractor is focused on providing the best insulation for your building. Call today to see if cellulose can solve your insulation needs.